Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Avery and today I'm going to be sharing with y'all all the books that I read in July. <laughs> So, uh, I know it's been a while since I've formally done a video, um, that's because I've been in school. I still have around one week left of summer school, so uh, bear with me till that's done. So I read 14 things in the month of July, 8 of which were audiobooks, 5 were physical reads, and 1 was an ebook. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to be talking about the books from my least favorite to my favorite. So firstly, uh, if you didn't know, I'm a big Ruby Dixon fan. Hello. She wrote all those Ice Planet Barbarian books. She also writes a dragon romance series. So humans fall in love with dragon shifters. So um, I listened to four of those and they were all a part of the Audible romance package. So if you have the Audible romance package, you can get all of these downloaded for free. So basically the series, yeah, it's a dragon romance series basically it's apocalyptic an apocalyptic world where out of the blue one day like a hole opened up in the sky and dragons started flying through a hole in the sky and started living on earth and killing everything so the human race is almost non-existent except for a few camps and stragglers here and there so this series is about um human women falling for dragon shifters each book is a companion book so they're not all following the same person so i'm just gonna list them off for you and tell you what i rated them first book was fire in his blood i gave this book a 3.5 out of 5 stars second book was fire in his kiss i gave this book a 3 out of 5 stars third book was fire in his embrace and i gave this one 3 out of 5 stars and the fourth one that i listened to was fire in his fury and i also gave this one a 3 out of 5 stars. Next we're going to talk about Meet Cute by Helena Hunting. If you didn't know this was the Lovely Ladies um, book club pick for the month of July. If you didn't know I host a romance book club with my friends Stacy, Ashley, and Jen and we all decided to read Meet Cute in the month of July. This is a romance book about our two main characters, Kaylin and Dax. So Kaylin is a really big fangirl of Dax because Dax used to be this really big kid TV actor for this really popular show that she loved. I kind of picture him, ha him as like the main character guy in Boy Meets World kind of thing. Turns out they go to law school together and they have like a meet cute moment where she like embarrasses herself and fangirls over him and they end up being in law school together but something happens between them in law school where she ends up hating his guts and this takes place I believe like eight or ten years after college where they end up meeting up again and Dax needs her um, advice and opinion and help in a certain situation. I'm not going to spoil that because that's a big spoiler. I gave this book a 3.5 out of 5 stars. Um, if you want to know my in-depth thoughts and Jen and Ashley's in-depth thoughts, be sure to check out the live show. That is going to be linked down below. We did a live show talking about this book. To be honest, we all thought that this book was kind of two books combined. It was a rom-com mixed with a dramatic romance story and we all thought that it would probably be a better story if they were split up but if you want to know more details go check out that live show if you're interested and i may even post a review of this book solely very soon next we have twisted palace by aaron watt this is the um third book in the royals series i thought it was a trilogy but turns out it's more than a trilogy there's more books in the series but the first three are focusing on one couple and the next books are focusing on a different couple i believe i have yet to get the other two books though so this series is about our main character ella harper who um was basically living off the streets and then she gets swept up and kind of rescued by this really wealthy man who just so happened to claim to be her dead father's best friend and he takes her under his wing and kind of becomes her guardian. This book is a forbidden romance between her and one of that man's sons, his five sons. Um, but the thing is, all five of the sons hate Ella's guts. So um, it's a hate to love romance, it's a bad boy romance. As I've said before about this series, uh, this series has a lot of problematic elements, but I can't help but not be obsessed with them. I kind of think of them as like soap operas. So like, you know, it's not the best quality out there, but like you're hooked nonetheless. So that's how I think about this series. And I gave this third book a four out of five stars. So actually my least favorite read of the month, I couldn't talk about at the beginning because it 
is a part of the Royal series. It's a novella called Tarnished Crown by Aaron Watt. I give this book a two out of five stars. This was my ebook for the month of July that I read. This is a novella all about one of the brothers that we don't get a perspective of during the actual novels. It's about him and his love interest and what they have overcome and their future and all that jazz. Didn't really enjoy this, was not memorable at all. I don't remember basically anything. I don't think it was really necessary to write a whole novella based on these characters. You could have just sprinkled a little scene in the book and it would have been fine. Yeah, I gave it a two out of five stars. Wasn't my favorite. <laughs> Next we have Jake's Redemption by Jamie Schultz. I was kindly sent this book to review. This book actually took me a while to get through just because also look how huge it is. I don't think I've read a book this big since Kingdom of Ash and Kingdom of Ash like put me in like a big book reading slump I think and I read that like almost a year ago so it's been a while since I've read over 400 pages and this is just over 400 pages so this is a romance book a dystopian romance book I've never read a dystopian romance book so that was pretty cool in this dystopian society basically we've had I think a third world war because all of a sudden women have developed this power so to speak where when they're filled with adrenaline they have like superhuman strength basically so they have overcome men during this time so women are the rulers of everything on earth and men are basically enslaved all men are owned by women um so this is about our main character named jake who had this really bad owner and tortured him great things did not happen to him um but another woman named monica who treats men who are owned by her like real human beings <laughs> needs Jake's help in building something because he used to be a construction worker before the world war hit so she needs his help and so Jake gets lent to her for three months and it's them coming together and their romance and their story together and it's about Jake overcoming his PTSD and all of the horrible stuff that his previous owner has put him through what's gonna happen when their time together is up and all that stuff and i actually thoroughly enjoyed this from the beginning it was really slow to me to be honest with you it took me so long to get into this book just because a it was super intimidating because of the size and b it was intimidating because i was sent for it for a review the reason why i couldn't give this five stars or over four stars i'm giving this four stars is because the beginning is really super duper slow to me and i do think it's just a tad too long i think it probably would have been better with some scenes cut that i don't think were needed all that much but other than that i really enjoyed this and this is the prequel to the angel eyes series when the next books comes come out i will for sure pick those up because i am interested in knowing about the rest of these books and the rest of the series and these characters next i read saga volumes two through four i read these for the reading rush i have all of them from the library i still have to read those before uh they get returned so i have to do that pretty fast i ended up giving volume two five stars volume three four stars and volume five three point five stars wasn't my favorite <laughs> i am really enjoying this series i think it's super duper fun and these really helped me during the reading rush to complete like the seven books challenge and yeah i really enjoyed these and i can't wait to complete the rest of them oh if you didn't know about the series duh so this book is a sci-fi fantasy series graphic novel series um basically about two love interests who love each other but they are two different species who are at war with each other so it's very illegal for them to be together and then they they get married and end up having a child so it's about the child's story and how she came to be basically the child is narrating the whole story from her birth on i think she like grows up through these graphic novels which i think is pretty cool so yeah i'm really enjoying these Next we have a romance companion series. Uh, the first book in that series is Getting Schooled by Emma Chase. I listened to both of these during the reading rush. I listened to these through Audible through the romance package. So if you're interested and you have the romance package, go ahead and check out these books. Um, This is a second chance romance book about our two main characters, Garrett and Callie. Garrett and Callie were high school sweethearts and they ended up breaking up when they went their separate ways for college but then I think it takes place 
10 years later maybe and Callie has moved back to her hometown where Garrett works. Garrett works at their old high school and Callie becomes a substitute teacher for the theater arts class so they end up sparking their relationship back up again. I really enjoyed this. The narrators were really really great and Emma Chase's romance books I think are so good and so well written. So I gave this book a 4.5 out of 5 stars. Second book in the companion series is Getting Played by Emma Chase. Um, I gave this one a 4 out of 5 stars. I don't think it was as good as the first one, so that's why I had to give it 4 stars. This is about Dean and Lainey. Dean works at the high school that Garrett does, who, I, who was in the first book, and he and Lainey have a one night stand and Lainey ends up moving to the same town Dean is in coincidentally, not meaning to. This is after their one night stand um, and turns out that her teenage son is in Dean's math class. So it's the repercussions of all of that. So there you go. Really enjoyed both of these. If you're into a good steamy romance, be sure to check out these books. And the last book that I have to talk about today is my favorite book of the month and my only five star read and that is Hurts to Love You by Alicia Rye. I listened to this through Libby and this is the third book in well, I cannot remember the trilogy's name but the third book in a trilogy and I read them out of order on accident I read the first book for the Scallywagathon and then I picked up the third book not thinking it was the third book thinking it was the second book anyway third book was so good I mainly loved it because it's a romance book with a fat rep in it I talked about this in my uh, reading rush reading vlog how there's this one scene in this book that just made me swoon and I wish more guys would think the way that Gabe, our main character man, thinks. Yeah, this is a romance book between Eve and Gabe when I think they're 10, over 10 years in age, so there's kind of an age gap there. But when Eve was growing up or when she was a teenager, she had a huge crush on Gabe. She never thought that he would recipro reciprocate feelings, but she's like 24 now and I think he's like in his mid 30s they end up meeting again and it turns out he might start developing feelings for her as well and it's their relationship together and i really 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 enjoyed it <laughs> this is definitely a book that i would love to re-listen to if i had my own audiobook version of it so i thought the narrators did a great job and i just gotta say alicia ray's steamy scenes are so well written i love it <laughs> anyways there you'll have it those were all 14 books that i read in the month of july if you've read these books or if you plan to please be sure to let me know down in the comments below anyways thank you all so so much for watching and i will see you all soon with a new video bye mm -hmm.